What's up, YouTube? It's the console Samurai with Grown Ups Gaming. And Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain came out today. And as some of you may remember, I actually mentioned that Metal Gear Solid was going to have microtransactions. And actually, I made, I made a few videos about Konami and Kojima and Metal Gear Solid 5 and Silent Hills. And, you know, I, I made so many videos in such a short period of time that a couple of my viewers actually said it seemed like I had something against Konami. That, you know, I was just jumping on all the news that was going on and, you know, looking back, I can definitely see why some people think I had a personal, a, a personal grudge to against Konami. And it, it wasn't true. It was just so much bad stuff coming out. And because it seemed like I was so anti-Konami, I kind of held back on some of the other news that happened since then. Minor news, but interesting things nonetheless. Now, as I said, the game came out today. I know some people got a little bit early, you know, early adopter or early reviewers. Um, some people just got the copy early because shipping got screwed up. I saw a few people on Facebook with Amazon UK had sent it a little early. But looking at the game now, players can see that, yes, what I heard was correct. Microtransactions are in the game. And they are doing it in a... They're, 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 they're going full on with the microtransactions. The microtransactions vary in price from $1.20 something, I think it was $1.27, up to $80 for the microtransactions. And what is in these microtransactions, you may ask? Because this isn't DLC. There's a difference between these. Um, these microtransactions are in-game currency. And this in-game currency it allows you to build a second base. The second base is going to let you go ahead and play head-to-head -head with other players. And while I'm not sure of all the details, it's not to be confused with Metal Gear Solid Online. It's not the online multiplayer. It's something completely different. And I'm kind of interested to see what it could be, but when Konami was asked about having to purchase these microtransactions to build your mother base, because they're called mother base coins, and Konami said, well, you're going to get some of the coins from playing the game anyway, so you don't necessarily need to, to, to buy all these coins, but you're going to get some from playing the game, which is fine. I mean, that, that's great. It's good that you can go in and you can... You can either shortcut the game and you can pay for these coins, which speed up the which speed up your progress in the game apparently and let you build your other base. But the issue is that Konami has confirmed whether or not you can actually fully build the base without them. So potentially that sixty dollar game, and that's not even counting if you bought the collector's edition, could be $140. And that gets to be a very expensive game. And, you know, it's, to be honest, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise that Konami's doing this because, as I mentioned in a previous video, they've said that they don't see the value in PC gaming. They don't see that there's a future in console gaming. They think that the only gaming that actually has a future is mobile gaming. So, should we be surprised that they've now decided to model even their AAA titles of free-to-play mobile games? You know, I'd like to say that I didn't expect this, but I kind of did. I kind of expected that they were going to do this, and that's a damn shame because I understand. I understand the value of microtransactions. I understand the value of DLC. I get all that. That is a long subject for another video. But this, when, when you when you do it like this, it's just abusing it, and that's what turns people against the idea. But tell me what you think in the comments down below. Obviously, this is still going to be a big game, regardless of the microtransactions or not. This is going to be a big game. This is probably going to be one of the biggest games of the year. So, do you think that the microtransactions are going to hurt the sales? Or do you think that they're not going to affect the sales? Or do you think that maybe maybe Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain is just going to be a very fitting eulogy for Konami to most of us gamers? Especially when you look at what they've done with the Silent Hill franchise, where it's just been relegated to a pachinko game because well that's what Konami wants they want mobile casino games but let me know what you think in the comments down below once again I am the console samurai and I'll see you around